Well, hello guys. I'm doing a sc four scary stories. Story one. We decided we were in the young YouTube videos where YouTube was new. We decided to go to an asylum since that was popular back then. We were creeped out when we went in because it was quite scary. We walked more and then we saw some satanic rituals. I don't know why there was satanic rituals. But that just creeped me out so much. We went to We went to the scariest part. We went to one one room where we got scared. We saw satanic rituals on the walls, on the floor, on the roof, and that that room looked like shit. That looked horrible. We were so scared, we ran out of there. And then, when we checked out our video, when we uploaded it, we saw on that room, we saw a man. Story, story two. We were walking and it was a stormy night. My sister, my little sister, she was four back then. Now she's nine and I, back then I was 10. I'm 13 now. And we were so scared this night because we were in our rooms and she said, the thunder scares me. I got so scared because of that. We went to get our lamps since the old days were like that. We needed lamps. We didn't have any flashlights. We went to the bathroom and we took turns. I waited for my sister to be done. And when I came in, this, I will never forget what I saw. I opened the door and immediately freaked out when through the window I saw a man looking through the glass, looking directly at my soul. I got so creeped out at that. So I ran as fast as I could and I never looked back and we called our parents. And our parents checked the room, but he was gone. We called the police and immediately hid in our room, in our parents' room. We never saw him again. But I have the feeling that he was gonna break in. To this day, that still scares me. Story three. We were once in a log cabin. Me and my girlfriend. My girlfriend ran to the girl. My girlfriend went and she had to go on a vacation. Well, I didn't go. I heard some scary noises. And then I heard a couple knocks. I got so scared at those knocks that I ran for the door because those knocks don't didn't sound like any other knocks I've heard before. I opened the door, no one. Then I went to go to the living room to watch TV. And then I heard the knock again. I was pissed off. Well, not that much, but I was kind of pissed off. I thought it was just some kids messing around like ding dong ditch. I opened the door again and nothing so I was like, ah ding dong ditch. This happened for over five more times. Then I went to my room and I basically grabbed my phone and watched YouTube videos. I got so tired I went to sleep. When I woke up, 
I was woken up by a loud noise in my living room. I opened my eyes and looked at my door and looked at my clock. It was five in the fucking morning. How could those kids still be here? But then I figured out that crash wasn't the door. That crash was my pans of the kitchen. I opened my door and checked out the hallway. I saw a man. I closed my door. Then, since I had my phone, I got a instant glance that I would do something creepy that would scare the man. I did a 45 caliber pistol loud noise and I plugged my phone in to my my loudspeakers that were for parties then he hurt I, I unpaused the video and then it was so loud it sounded realistic and I was like this is a warning shot I unpaused the video and shot again this is the second warning shot and then he I heard the footsteps getting out of the house and since my room had a window looking, I saw the man again. He gave me a smile. And then, I never saw him again. But then my girlfriend came back. Four years later, I married her. And then that way she wouldn't ever leave. We moved into a better house. But to this day, I'm still scared. Scary Story 4. This is actually one of my personal stories, and it's a, another personal story. If you guys saw my other video, you could have seen the other personal story. But this one, once I was trying to sleep, but I couldn't because I heard noises. And my brother wasn't home. And my parents were asleep. I was so scared. I stayed up late. But then I got tired. I went to sleep. Next night, I heard the same. Then I got so mad. I asked my brother if he was doing the noises. He said no. But then, nothing happened from that when I asked him. I wonder why. But then... It w I figured I, it was probably a game in my mind. I know this is not a lot of a scary story, but it still creeps me out. And this story is really creepy because it was in my room. And, and we have found one gun on our backyard, which might have been from killing someone. And we have a bullet as well. But we actually keep it for a collection of finding things. But this is it, guys. Hope you enjoyed my creepy stories. My four creepy stories. And this took me a long time because the other three stories, I don't know if they're real, but I just made them up. And... I want you to thank Mr. Nightmare and Mr. Spooky again because they still inspire me to do scary stories. And one of you liked the video, so in my other video, like the, put a comment and I said, well, if they like the video, then I should do more. My personal story it hasn't happened again, but it still creeps me out to this day. Now, well, this is the end of the video. Hope you enjoy. Subscribe and like for more. Comment on what if I should do more scary stories and creepy and I'm gonna do some creepy pastas, okay? So hope you enjoyed and bye I will haunt you on your nightmare.